Hey guys, what's good? And today I'm playing That's Not My Neighbor. I don't even know where to begin with this game. I like the animation. What does... What? What? Does that do something? No. 3312. DDD. Me no like. Me no no. Okay. Arcade mode. Ooh. The doppelgangers you let in don't kill you immediately, but at the end of the run. What? Okay, let's just get into this. I don't know what this is about, but... Oh. Didn't know we were in the 1960s. The following short film is a production of DDD with educational purposes. Hell, if you're watching this film, it's because you're the new doorman in your building. Your job is to determine whether the person who wants to enter the building is a doppelganger or an imposter. As everyone knows, doppelgangers have the ability to transform to another person and impersonate them. But some are not as good at it and could generate imperfections. You have to pay close attention to the appearance of your neighbors, okay? Also, remember to fill out the checklist for each neighbor. Oh, this requires, like, actual brain power. I'm screwed. You can't miss any details because it can mean death for you and your neighbors. This is the structure of your office. Now we are going to explain how it works. Jesus, this is like its own thing. Like, here's the security window. Don't forget to observe very well each individual who approaches. Gotcha. On the right, you have the folders with all the data of each neighbor according to the respective floor. I'm losing it already. What? Receive documents from this hatch. Okay, got it. If you determine that the individual isn't a doppelganger, then allow them into the building with these buttons. Okay, so it's kind of like that game um, from ages ago. I think it's called Papers, Please, where you have to like let people through a border. Otherwise, if you determine that is in fact a doppelganger, press the emergency button and call 3312. 3312. To communicate with the DDD or any apartment in your building, use the telephone in front of you. Yeah, so it's kind of like Papers, Please, but animated and less serious. Your job is really important, so make sure you do it right. Oh, please. Bitch, I got this. Finally, we congratulate the doorman of the month, Henry. I will beat his record. It wasn't that he did an excellent job, but he was the only doorman in the area who didn't get killed by doppelgangers. Be like Henry. But better. I've never actually tried to play one of these games for myself, so oh my lord. Welcome and congratulations on your new job. Thank you. Right. Okay, so this is a checklist. Uh... Hello, um, hmm, name Margaret Bubbles, apartment, okay, so she's on the second floor, reason, I live in the third apartment on the second floor, okay, so second floor, Margaret Bubbles, ID, curly hair, deviated left eye, round nose, big smile. Looks good to me. Go on, love, enter. This is easy. Oh my lord. Lips on lips. You've got more lips than me, Jesus. Name me a stone, third floor, first room. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a teacher. Good for you. <laughs> All right, Mia Stone, teacher, long hair, small round nose. She has freckles, oval face, thin eyebrows. Huh, okay, call me crazy, but look at that eye over there and look at like where the eyebrow is. Um. <clears throat> I think that was a doppelganger. I think that was a doppelganger. Um. Do I do something now, or...? Um, three, three... Oh my god, it's like these old-timey things. Three, three, one, two. Pick up! You've contacted the DDD. Cleaning protocol completed. You can continue your job. So, does that mean I did that right? I don't know, like... I'd like to think I- oh my god. Hello, you weirdo. Albertski Peachman. First floor, second room. Shoemaker. Well, we'll see about that. Rebe- Okay, no. Albertski Peachman. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. 
Has a mustache, prominent chin. You look pretty normal to me, so... I think I'm doing pretty damn well, to be honest. You again. Oh, oh my god. So, this is the actual Mia Stone. And I know her information already, and her eye is, like, normal. So I did do it correct the first time. I'm the best gamer ever. Hashtag. Oi, this is a bad man. Look at that mohawk. Steven Rude Boys. Apartment 303. I'm a resident of the building. I just, I come from my job as a pilot. Okay. Steven Rude Boys. Appearance, big nose, wears glasses, short hair, small head. Um, You look pretty cool to me, bro. I like that mohawk. Please don't kill me now. Hello, governor. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Reason, I'm not a doppelganger. I'm a normal human with normal behavior. Just let me in to do my normal human activities. Alf Capuchin, 304. Um, I'm going to send you away, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Big nose, prominent mustache, uses a monocle, wears a hat. Well, wait. It says wears a hat, but he's not wearing it in his actual picture. I I guess he was fine. Right? I'd like to think that I did the right... Jesus, your face is creepy AF. And a stature, Mikhail Rog. I think my apartment... Okay, um, 204. And Estacha Mikhail's tired eyes, two ponytails, small nose, round face. Um, go ahead, knock yourself out. I think she was fine. I feel like if there's going to be anything really, really noticeable, I'll see it. I'm curious. Ah, well, what? How can that be? Because the other guy wasn't a doppelganger, I'm sure. So how can you be here? You have to be, um, a doppelganger. Um, am I tripping? I swear the other guy was not a doppelganger, right? So this guy has to be a doppelganger by default. Listen, I'm a stick with my guns. Hasta la vista, baby. Come and take this man's away. Okay, well, I assume if I do the wrong thing, they let me know, right? So, that guy was a doppelganger, but he didn't look any different. Yeez, you have a moustache and a half. Arnold Schmidt. Um, also, am I supposed to be filling these? Because I, I... Yeah, fuck it. Um, so... Jesus. I suppose I'm supposed to use his ID here. So, 7785662192322. Um, jeez, I'm gonna have to go through the floors one by one to find this guy, man. Arnold Schmidt, 778566. Okay. 219322. Okay, your IDs match. Um, where's a hat? Small round face. Welcome to the party, I guess. Hello, ma'am. Gloria Schmidt. I'm a resident of the building. I'm a banker. Okay. Um, 201. Gloria Schmicht, banker, round face, mole on right cheek. Let's check that. Hmm. Round nose. Yeah. I've also just realized that you actually have to check the IDs. So 698-522-341150. 698-522-341150. Um, so that, that, that. Welcome. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. I think I should be able to finish- Okay, I got an A. So not terrible. Huh, wait, so where, where did I mess up? Alf, wrong eyebrows. Oh, so that was the pilot guy, so I did mess up then. Okay. I want to try that again. I think I can do this. I think I can get the highest possible score, if that is the thing. Okay. And a stature, Michaels, 13269853 Okay, 13269853 Um, And... Everything seems to match. Welcome. 
Hello, Gloria Schmidt, 201. Looks good, you can enter. All right, um, 1465 129 86354. 1465 129 86354. Mustache, chin, nose, eyebrows, face. Um, call me a crazy dude, but those eyebrows don't match. Uh, give me one second, sir. <laughs> Help me! There's a guy, and he wants to kill me. Help me! Someone help me! Hmm, heterochromia is not a good sign for you. It's really not a good sign for you. And you're a chef, hmm. Right eye blue, left eye green. Right eye blue, left eye green. Okay. Curly hair, has freckles, round face. 789-653-665-413. 789-653-665-413. Hello and welcome, Mrs. Heterochromia. Um. Um. Um, 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 <laughs> um, I don't want to be here anymore. Guys, can you hurry up? I don't want to die. Oh my god, that was creepy. Hi, yeah, hi to you too, bro. Robertsky Peachman, 0102. Okay, well, you match. One one four six five two two eight nine seven three zero. One one six five two two eight seven nine three zero. Looks good to me. Enter. Hello. Um, Illinois. Svird. Oh one oh four. My job as a model. We all have dreams. Um, model mole on left cheek. Okay. Small pointed nose. Yep. Slim, long neck, she has a twin. You tell me this now? Thank you. 8453230149568453230199569. 8453230199569. Welcome to the building. Jesus, this guy looks like Superman. Ijak Gauss. Okay, you seem to match up. 4569855123691269 4569855123691269 Welcome. Huh, I wonder how I'm doing. Hello. Dr. William Afton. Three oh one. Physicist, robust eyebrows with glasses, short hair round nose square head. Okay, well, 2504896562142504. 2504896562142514. Looks good to me. I wonder how I'm doing. Do I win at some point or does this go on forever? Um, uh, you see, I let you in before and you didn't have your brain coming out of your head, so... I'm going to call the police now and... Let's hopefully get this unpleasantness behind us and all that, you know, like... Okay, thank you. Cheers, guys. You're the best. You. you. So this was the guy who I got done on last time, Alf Cappuccin. Not again. Not in my building. Those eyebrows are looking good to me, so... Hmm, okay. 1204809634712045 all right. Hopefully I didn't make the same mistake as last time. <laughs> How? It's always this guy, man. It's always the same damn guy. I allowed in two doppels? How? I did worse than last time. Alf, wrong nose. Are you taking the mic? How was his nose wrong? I'm going to beat this. I'm going to beat this in this episode, I swear. Oh dear. You know what? That is definitely not my neighbor. Okay, you don't really have a nose, so I'm not gonna let you in. I must be getting near the end. The amount of people I've checked is ridiculous. Okay, I've seen you before. Um, 
I live on the third apartment on the second floor. Okay, I kind of want to be clever here because I've checked this woman before. So maybe that woman was a doppelganger. But in case it wasn't, I think you can kill two neighbors before you fail. So maybe I want to use that on this woman. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to use it. I'm going to have to take a chance because I feel like I'm close to winning. And I think you can kill one neighbor because you get two chances with the doppelganger. So maybe it's the same for neighbors. Okay, it looks like that gamble paid off because they let me do it and I haven't lost the game. Or not. Oh no, she was a neighbor. I allowed in two doppelgangers, Jesus. Oh, come on. For the afternoon, it was no DDD logo. Are you kidding me? Margaret Smallmouth. All right, one more try. Okay, I think I'm doing a lot better. And one of the good things that I'm noticing is I'm not having repeat people. Because if you have people who keep repeating, then you've let in a doppelganger. Otherwise, you wouldn't see them again. Huh, I don't know what to do with this person because it says she's a resident and she went out to visit her parents. But on her form, it just says she's a housewife. Um, I mean... I don't know, because it doesn't contradict and she didn't have an ID. Dead. Damn it! Oh, so she was the only doppel that I allowed in. Uh, huh. Okay, so there's also a nightmare mode that you can play. I think I've got myself warmed up on the original mode, so maybe next I'll try the nightmare mode and see what happens. But yeah, I like this game. I like that it's kind of similar to the, um, the Papers, Please, where you're checking people and it's tense because you're looking for things and stuff like that. Yeah, not bad. Solid 8 out of 10 game. But yeah, let me know if you want to see more of this and yeah, in a bit. Peace.